Hello, guys. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our English class. It's a very pleasure to have you here this uh, beautiful night. Um, starting, you know, this great day, you know, Tuesday, 28th. So also it's a good opportunity, you know, to have a short feedback of the previous activities. So welcome to, to you guys who have come here on time. And also for those who are joining us right now in the class, and also we start the section number four, the corresponding to this week. And uh, we have great topics to share today. Um, something interesting about those topics is that we talk about generations. Uh, we have been talking about millennials. Then we have learned different things, the time given for this, uh, you know, generation. But at the same time, we know about some skills, some important aspects that perhaps we need to highlight related to millennials. And that's really great to know, talking about, you know, this generation that is very important. Today, we're going to introduce uh, a new topic that is a state characteristic of X and Y generations. So we will learn a little bit about these generations that are really important. And also we as citizens were adapted to the changes that we have uh, corresponding to those generations. Most of us, we can also feel, you know, motivated, I also encouraged to do a great job. So welcome, and we have here, uh, let's see who we have. Well, we have Rafael, Carlos Ernesto, Edwin, uh, Sabrina is joining, um, Kevin. Also we have Mirna and Emerson. Welcome guys uh, to be here on time. And also thanks for, you know, sharing your camera so we can see you guys. And also, we're going to have a fun, especially in this um, section for it, and this topic about characteristic of X and Y generations. So during this time, we have been like um, checking and evaluating important aspects about millennials and also how we can deal with them, how can we work with millennials, how, what can we do to, to, you know, to have a, the best results, especially what we do with, with employees of people. It's a huge responsibility to be a manager and try to guide, you know, students to do a great job. So it's really important. Well, and, um, okay. So I would like to ask you, are you ready? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, could you listen to me? Yes, you should. Yeah, teacher. Uh, we are, we are okay. ready. Yeah. It's because I got the, I was checking here that I got the, mute button and when i saw that i was like oh my god did they listen so i you could listen so that's good i feel good for that well uh do you know about the generation x and generation y have you heard uh, about these uh generations being honest with you guys you can say no teacher i haven't heard or well, it's the first time that i listen this one so the question is uh, have you heard about these generations Yes, no. Tell me, tell me, don't be afraid. If you say teacher, well, I don't know about it, so don't worry. I just want to know. So if you know something. No idea about generation X and Y. Okay, your silence says enough. Okay, that's cool, right? So we're gonna introduce, and also there is a main goal that we're going to reach for this class. And it is this one. Who wants to be the volunteer for helping me to read this? Um, I need a volunteer to read it. Who wants to be? To read the, the goals for this class. Only one, please. Relax, relax. You, you know that you want me to share, can I? Oh, thank you so much. Okay, I will be able to compare the assets employees that belong to the X generation and Y millennium generations bring about to the workplace. Okay, thank you so much. I was like, look at this one. So you can also appreciate about the, you know, this important assets. So to compare employees, especially uh, belonging to the generation X and Y, and in comparison to millennials, because we have been talking about millennials for some time, and also we're going to try to compare these generations with the millennials and see if there is any uh, similar things or not about it. Okay, also we're going to be like trying to focus about that. Well, some students are joining right now to the class. 
And um, and then we're gonna have a short time to know that. So there are some questions that I want you to socialize. First, we're gonna try to identify it by the social media or perhaps the internet on uh, the following questions. The first question is, are you co are your coworkers part of your generations? Um, example, Sufrido. Hi, Sufrido. Hello, teacher. How are you? Mm, pretty tired, but I'm fine. I know. Uh, do you have Do you have dinner? Yes. Okay, that could help. That's right. Yeah, that could help, right? Okay, I understand that. So, are your coworkers part of your generation or different generations? Mm, I think most of them are part of the same generation. Except for the boss. <laughs> okay, okay. He's a little bit, so the, a little bit older. So most most of your most of your generations are millennials, what I understand, right? So the question is you feel comfortable working with them? Or, or it's like, you know, you don't feel comfortable or then work in the same rhythm like you. So how do you feel? Um, I feel good most of the time. Um, Probably in some cases, I feel the rhythm, the rhythm is different. Okay. Mm, not all the time. It's okay, so that's mean that... specific cases. Okay, I understand that. So that's mean that um, women is a little bit different, what I understand. And some things. Yeah. Okay, but, but the most important is you feel comfortable because most of them are millennials, and that's really good to know that. Well, thank you so much. So we're going to try to socialize the following questions we have here, like, is management in your workplace exercised mostly by people who belong to the X generation? So you're gonna to try to socialize the following questions. Is management in your workplace ex exercised mostly by people who belong to this generation or not? Or to the baby boomer generation? Because we have been talking about the generation X, the baby boomer generation, and so on the previous one. Previous generations are millennials. And also the next question is, uh, it, it, how is it, is it for you to interact with the coworkers from other generations? It's good for you, you feel comfortable. It's like, oh my God, I don't know, but I don't feel comfortable working with the generation because of the ages. They think totally different to us. So you had a freedom to think about the, the environment. In my case, guys, without being honest with you guys, I work with the most of the time with the millennials, but also I have the interaction with uh, coworkers from the different ages. We're talking about different generations, like baby boomers and some previous generation too. So, but besides that one, I feel really comfortable working with them. I mean, we don't have, we have different ideas, but at the, at the same time, we have an agreement about some important things. And also the next question is, do you consider that if you if two people belong to different generations, they are very likely to have conflicts due to differences in their values and beliefs and why this question is really important because as i told you when you interact with people with other generations they have different thoughts different ideas different values sometimes they don't focus about technology or they don't like technology and this is like a kind of controversy because you want to work in a way they want to work in a way they want to have uh you know the leadership in the team but you know about the department you know about the product about things and you're like, oh my God, so I, this person doesn't want to work with me or I don't want to work with this person. And you don't get an agreement because you belong to different generations because you work with different values. And also, I mean, it's normal, but most of the time in a company, you should get an agreement. Okay, so I will give you a couple of minutes to think about the following questions. You can also uh, check on websites to identify the generation X and what is the generation Y too. And then we're gonna work in a small teams thinking about the following questions. Remember that in this class, I need you to produce the language as much as you can. Before concluding this level, we need to move on to advanced number two and also your English level should be even better than this one today, right? Any questions or doubt about the vocabulary or something else that you don't understand about these questions? No, easy, easy, like a piece of cake. Yes. 
Okay, thumbs up. It's everything is okay. Okay, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Okay, so I will give you a couple of minutes. Uh, try to analyze the questions and also answer according to what you know. If you don't know about the Generation X, I will give you the chance to think about this one and also you can investigate about the most important aspects. Also, also guys, um, I will give a brief explanation about Generation X and Generation Y. Let's do it.
Okay, dear students, so are you ready? Could you, you know, respond to questions? Uh, please confirm. I just have two, two answers teacher, about the first and second question. Only two? Yeah. Okay. I don't please. know uh, the others. Let's see, uh, Sufredo. Um, it's still in progress. Okay, and Carlos Ernesto? Um, I am the last one. You're in the last one, okay. Uh, Juan yeah. Car okay, thanks. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera? Uh, I don't finish yet, teacher. Okay, that's okay. So I will give you a couple of minutes to, to analyze each question. Remember that it's important to, to know some important characteristic about the Generation X and Y. And also how they have a, a kind of lifestyle and the way they, they interact with some things. Okay, don't worry about it.
finish teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, we're going to take a short time to, you know, work in the breakup rooms. And the most important goal is that you can also analyze the following questions and also, you know, see important aspects about this generation. And um, you, you, you also you have the knowledge about how people work and how people interact depending on the ages. Sometimes it's easier to work with older people people from other generations that the same generation because of different factors personality types also positions about schedules so it depends right the, the way we in which we can interact with other people if we feel comfortable working with them the level of organization the level of commitment in the company that are an important aspect to evaluate especially when working with different employees in a company okay we're gonna work in the breakup rooms right now and uh, you have uh, five minutes to to analyze important aspects related to millennials and also Generation X and Generation Y. Also, they talk about the baby boomers. And that's good. It's not bad at all. So we're going to work uh, four members per, per each group. And in a brief way, you are like talking about every questions. Don't forget, if you have any questions or doubt, you have a freedom to ask. And um, I'm just going to be moving around the groups and listening to you guys so I can ask you some questions or uh, help you with the pronunciation about vocabulary. Something necessary in this class is to guarantee that we are pronouncing properly the vocabulary. When, when I listen to someone that is mispronouncing a word, I just can't take uh, time to say, you know what? The pronunciation is this one. That is the way. And that's why I just like move around. And also, if you have any doubts or questions, you also raise your hand. Also, you can say, teacher, well, in being honest, I don't know how to pronounce this word and I can help you with that. Oh, that's the reason why I'm here. Okay, so let's work now in teams. Let's socialize the questions and good luck with that. Okay, please look at your screen and you will see the invitation right there. Okay, for those who are available to join the groups, please, so you can see the invitation. Okay. Osman is here. Osman. Come in and tell it to me. Hello. Osman, how are you? Okay, we are we are starting the first, yeah? We have to talk. Um, yeah. Okay, are your work, co workers part of your generation? Is it mostly of them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it pro probably because I don't really know how old he is? By the boss, I think I remember he's around 45 years. So he basically is from another generation, generation next. But all the other co workers are like 
34, 35 years, and I'm less of that. It's like 22 to 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, in my case, as of all, yeah, we have a co workers part of my generation, but in another generation, and the generation X, uh, maybe the boss or the manager, they have more age and experience and the, the work and they have the, the, the other generation, but and all of the rest, I think that is my generation as a millennium, but I think that we can work with both and different, <laughs> different co-workers, I think. That's very. <laughs> Just in case, uh, I is missing. Probably the big boss of the company. He is baby boomer. It's like about sixty years. So. <laughs> yes, we have three generations. <laughs> we have to share the ideas and the values <laughs> together. <laughs> and you, husband and Jorge. <laughs> Yeah, in my case, it's a three generation, baby boomer, ex, millennial. Um, my the boss is baby boomer. Be similar in your opinions. Okay, Jorge, what about you? Um. We are a different uh, generation, but uh, in the work, in the teamwork, um, more or less four or five members, uh, we have the same age, we are the same generation, and the other ones, two or three, uh, are the uh, uh, baby boomers because uh, in in the company uh, there are many people uh, uh, with uh, of this generation. Um, so in that case, George, um, you feel comfortable working with the people from the same generation, or you see like. A difference, uh, differences when working with people from your same age. No, well, really, uh, I I just in a I work in a in a factory, and the teamwork or the co-workers, um, uh, we are a. Uh, 12 or 12 or 30 uh, members for the teamwork in the uh, we are the manage this uh, in uh, this team yeah uh, in in this case I included the supervisors of my partners um, head of department but we have in the company, uh, that different generation uh, because uh, we have a uh, 415 uh, employees in the company and uh, all of you uh, we uh, have the different generation in the company we have a uh, different employees with 18 years for example and it's very uh, interesting but difficult because we need to uh, meet with these people and I need to understand the different uh, characters or qualities or or different uh, personalities or yes for the different people but it's very interesting because uh, for example in my case I I am a uh, production manager and I need to uh, talk about with uh, these people I have uh, in my case 250 people uh, in my church uh, in the different unities in the different departments 
but uh, for me is is uh, I I enjoy my work because uh, I know the different uh, way things or different uh, people and the I like I like this but uh, sometimes is is difficult because um I don't know they have a uh, different um uh, I don't know uh the differentness needles, yes, or different uh, ways for the for the works. Not, not it, for me, it's not a problem, but uh, I try to understand the the different uh, uh, situations. Uh, but uh, I I like uh, this. I enjoy this this part in my work, but uh, sometimes uh, is is difficult to try to uh, understand uh, these these employees yes i agree with jorge about that because we have to understand the difference that we have the difference work but the the old advisor is is a generate generous x and baby boomer but the the old the old people is a uh, is millennial. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the 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 next question, uh, who is is for uh, for you to interact with coworker from the other generation? Is easy or not easy? Uh, Emerson, what about you about this question? Well, uh, I believe it depends on the situation. Sometimes uh, the olders don't accept suggestion for uh, specific topics, huh? right? Uh, for for the way for for the way uh, they think, I believe, or how learn. Okay, uh, in my case, it's no. It, it's very easy because uh, the company um, is the technology company, and is very very uh, necessary. Uh, uh, have a, a, a new idea, for example, and about the 80% of co-workers uh, or, or employees are millennials. Uh, it's, it's easy to uh, interact with them because, um, because the company is the technology company. What about you, Manuel? And by the way, I, I, just, I just want to, I'm sorry. I just want to highlight that nowadays, you know, um, Generation C, for example, and also the alpha generations are like more attractive to technology because if we're talking about like 10 years ago, between 10, 15 or less than that time, oh, perhaps they feel attracted by technology. We were learning about technology, for example, the access to internet, the evolution about cell phones, because time ago, we used to have some kind of uh, like regular cell phones, but nowadays we have smartphones. And this technology has improved in a better ways and won't stop. It will keep on like improving all the time. But something that I really love about that is that, you know, these generations are, are attracted to technology. So we can see in a way, if you work in a store or you work in a company that is focused on technology, you will see, you know, these generations, you know, working there because they are attracted to this technology and could be a little easier for them. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, in my case, is I think so is is no problem uh, inter interaction in different generation, but um, I think so is 
is sometimes it's complicated interact to interact uh, with the baby boomer generation and the the old people the older people uh, don't as don't accept uh, a suggestion or different opinion. Okay, uh, and the last question, uh, do you consider that if two people belong to different generations, they are very likely, likely to have conflict to, to different in their values and beliefs, and why? Emerson? Well, Carlos, I believe this. It's likely possible. Always there is a, a, a possibility to have a conflict because, as mentioned previous, uh, sometimes don't accept the suggestions. The more when the suggestion come, the person someone someone younger than them i believe but uh, i believe uh, so there is a likely uh, have a, um, a a link when when thinking together in, in a solution of the, the specific problem, I believe. Okay. Um, I think uh, depend on the activities. Uh, 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 depend on the activity because, uh, for example, the 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 older people or the older employees. Uh, have a uh, some values that they don't change. Or for example, the responsibility uh, to the world, for example. And sometimes the 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 the, the young people uh, don't have this value, for example. Uh, they see the life different, and and maybe uh, they don't understand. Uh, that is important uh, they engage to the to the world uh, for me depending uh, what activity they do in you Manuel uh, what do you think about it um, I think so is yeah okay I, I agree with you I think so is independent for the activity uh, for the activity Oh, for different oh, for oh, for the profession, and I remember when I was I finished my study at the university. I I I was working with with the with the teacher, and in the moment is 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 the change in the high school, and and. Before, before uh, the high school is three years, the the person did study and they changed at a a a a high school in in two years to study in a high school general is nothing vocational. ¿Cómo se dice vocacional? How do you mean uh, high school? Uh, like a kind of vocational, or also. Also, there is an also another word. Let me write it here for you guys. It's like vocational. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, and um, I I was working. It's a training with the teacher. In the teacher, um, and I and in the moment is I, I, I was young, and the teacher all uh, all. Angry with me when when I explain 
the other the the other the other the other form for the teacher keep the class uh, is and and I think so is it depends for the activity for the activity for the professional and for different situation and in in can can and and can conflict with the with the different uh, value or belief. Yes, uh, for example, in my company, for example, um, with my team, uh, I only um, I evaluate uh, for the goal, for example. Uh, for me, I, I don't have any problem uh, if they were uh, in in home, for example. Uh, but the CEO, for for example, CEO, uh, he is a baby woman. Uh, uh, he wants uh, to see war in the company, and all the time uh, he said he says me, uh, well, Carlos, I need uh, the the old the old employee. Uh, come to company <laughs> and we can do the the the, the war uh, because all is friend of me uh, all is a uh, uh, connection uh, uh, to in internet for example but yeah they no 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 i i, I need the the, the old uh, employee come the company i can see them I can, <laughs> Is it's a, a different because uh, he is the the other generation, the baby boomer. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> el, eh, he seen they don't work for some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember. Um, manager often to director. Uh, because we the, there is a an agrupation from. From a lot of cities that going to conform the the another the another distribution for the next time, so that's well, I believe that it's going to be a lot body. of change. However, I Maybe I am trust. Your I don't I don't know how can I say, but your alcaldía disappeared yes. or not. Uh, not in my case because as yeah, I how? told you my my director is the is the candidate from the government party oh, so oh. But for that reason he said that if he win he wanted to because the new director he decides in which city he established okay it doesn't matter maybe you he can... will take all the region all the uh, part territory I don't know Yes, and he decide in which place he install it. So for that reason, there is a lot of shame for next year. I don't know how they're going to solve it that, but what will I you don't do? Know. What will you do in the future? <laughs> yeah, because we have been working with different parties, to be honest. But are you afraid? Uh, not at all, to be honest, because as I told you, we work for three different parties with that and right. in my in particular in my team there is no change the last three governments i remember in 2017 was governed by arena 2018 2021 20 21st fmln and 21st from now no, I see the, the the government party <laughs> and my department we are still the same because we focus we work focus on goals and we work for the for it, the financial department it talk mm -hmm. uh, so good about your team Jose is it talk so good I... yeah we we are hopeless that's for next year however if there is any change it doesn't matter because uh, that's work you need like to that. have the okay. open mind. The... Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. And well, you don't know if your next director will will uh, be 
to the X generation or baby boomer. <laughs> no, in that case, it's a little bit important because our last director is the opposite candidate. So yeah. he knows as well how do we work. So whatever of them that win. Technology, when you use the technology, you can you can go in other marketing, in other place, in other with other person, with other countries, or you can increase the sales, and et cetera. And I think that this, I agree with you when you say that, imagine that if your boss say, okay, get out of my office. Yeah, I understand. But is the, the, is it the, the value that we are talking that this is the balance that they, they need. The company need the millennium as well because they are, an expert in technology, <laughs> I think, or they they were they was born with technology. In this case, Mirna, it's important that in the independent the generation that respect uh, other uh, other generation. Uh, this is important. For example, uh, in this moment, that uh, for example, the millennial and uh, typical music, reggae and reggaeton, for example. In my case, uh, I'm in no <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I like you. I like prefer. Uh, I prefer listening to music, relaxing, pop music, for example, or um, English music, for example, uh, because uh, the millennial, the Bad Bunny, um, <laughs> yeah. and other, reggaeton, <laughs> but not yeah, all reggaeton. Because, because it's important respect your your inclined your your light music more more music is different is uh, um baby boomer is uh, uh, different or, <laughs> yes or, or, uh, <laughs> yeah it's very complicated in this case important that respect the the opinion do you like prefer uh, typical music uh, 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 Ah, more activities. It's very interesting in this situation. Yes, completely. I, I agree with you because it's the value that the generation the is different value that we yeah. have. Hmm. For the dress code, for example, they are more relaxed. They they are dressing uh a ripped jeans, for example, or they are not use a formal dress, or they use more casual, or they use cap, or they they use the hair or the long hair. Yes, it's 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 difficult, but we we are think that if if you share the the value and share the the best of each generation, you could be. And solve the, the conflict or the problem that we have in our in our job. Is the ability that the that the manager yeah. they have to.
Okay, students. Well, first of all, congratulations to all of you because you had an amazing conversation. I was learning from all of you guys talking about your personal experience. I just want to uh, highlight the most important ideas shared in each conversation. Like the first question is like, are you co-workers part of your generation? I could appreciate that most of you work with different people from different generations, but the most important thing is you, you can also make an agreement to, to reach the goals because in a company, uh, you cannot work in different lines or different directions. All of you have to follow the same goal, the same pattern, the same lines, the same perspectives. So besides there are like very variation between your generations, the most important is that you make an agreement and you work in the same rhythm in the same path. That was the, the conclusion about these questions. Also, we talk about is management in your workplace exercised mostly by people who belong to the, to the X generation or to the baby boomers generations. Most of you said that, that the, the ages are changes, but the most important is that the baby boomers work in that. And also uh, baby boomers are like most of the time the coordinators or people who have other positions. And also there are some employees like millennials and some of them like Generation X. But besides that one, I could see that you don't have any troubles working with them. So you complement each other in order to have a great production, especially what you're doing in the company. That's really good. How is it easy to, um, for you to interact with coworkers from other generations? I saw that you didn't have any troubles with that, that you are very kind and also people are very kind in the company. You just like have a very an appropriate uh, communication skills and also you have a great interaction with all people, respecting each other because that's important, the most important and also very valuable work when working with different people from different ages. You have to respect them. You have to respect their opinions. You have to respect the way they are. And also if you respect, you can be a respected eater. So that is important to have a balance about what to do and also what important things that perhaps we can also focus about generation. It's something that we have to do. The next question said that, do you consider that if two people belong to different generations, they are very likely to have conflicts due to differences in their values and beliefs? Some of you mentioned that sometimes there are some situations in which you have one idea and the other person has a different idea. And also you have to make an agreement. And uh, sometimes it's like, you know what, but I think in this way, uh, but I don't think so. It's a kind of normal, we could say. But uh, at the end, uh, be besides you have different ideas, you make a conclusion. And also you make an agreement. And also you can solve the situation and keep on working a lot. So that's why it's important because um, perhaps a uh, baby boomer has a lot of experience, but it doesn't mean that they, well, the, this uh, generation knows a lot. Also, a millennial has incredible ideas that can share in the team, even though the generation C or so on, right? So it doesn't matter the age. The most important is the personal projections given. And if the idea is going to help the company, it's going to be better for all of us. So we could conclude this the conversation in that way. Also, you talk about some personal experiences. You talk about the way how the things can work. And also you have a, a line about what to do for further points. So that, that is something good. I really love because you had a freedom and a natural way to talk and socialize to, in a briefly way the conversation. Okay, let's move to the next part. I just wanna make a post because I need to uh, check the attendance list if you allow me one moment. Uh, meanwhile, I was I look for it right now, the attendance list. So um, the, uh, could you see the, um, I sent like an image about the generations, could you see that in um, WhatsApp? Could you see the the picture that I sent you guys? You could see the ages. Yes, we can see it, teacher. Yeah, that is important because you you can see the fr from the first generations until the new ones. That is the alpha generation. The, this is called the generations related to technology. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna check the attendance list. You say present, please do me a favor. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez.
is not here. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thanks. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Is not here. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present. Thank you. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thanks. Juan Carlos Herrera. Juan Carlos is not here. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Is Kevin here? He was there. Um, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Is not Nelson. Osman Enrique Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Sorry, you are freeze. Oh, my connection are bad. Sorry. <laughs> no, yes, teacher, me too, I, teacher. I, I didn't teacher. hear my, my name. Teacher. Oh, Juan Carlos is here? Yeah, yes, teacher. Okay, oh, okay. Kevin also. Present. Nelson Alberto. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Osman. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Ricardo Ernesto. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Cifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Uh, Wendy Maricela. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. And also Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's continue, guys, with the next activity. So, well, being honest with you guys, I, I feel really, you know, excited because since the very beginning we started the class, the, the first class, um, some of you were like a little quiet, like not participating like commonly, but after you know a couple of weeks i have seen you like more the um, interaction speaking in a natural way so that's mean that you have like you know go and be joined about your english level and that is good because you get confidence when talking and that's one of the ways right no matter if we make mistakes sometimes the most important is that we can try because if we don't try we won't know if we make mistakes or not and also we further, when we have more practice, we can also concentrate about the pronunciation, about the accent, because it's not just speaking, but also the accent too, like sounds more American, sounds like a native speaker. And also you can also focus about the accent when listening other native speakers, also practicing with other people too. Let's continue then. Okay, we have the next activity. We're going to ask Mirna, can you help us read the instruction about the following activity? Please. Yes. Uh, building vocabulary. Go online to find out more about the key term in this lesson. Baby boomers, generation X, generation Y, and bridge the gap. Bridge the gap. Yeah, this is the pronunciation. Yes, bridge, bridge the, the gap. gap. Bridge exactly. the gap. Okay. Exactly. Thank you so much. So I was just going to give you a couple of minutes to check about the baby boomers. Check the date where the, the born date until the title finished. And then the gene X too, where is that? Look for in the Trisaurus where you can find this information. What is the gene Y? And what's the meaning about bridge gap, right? I will give you a couple of minutes to look for this information. And then we're going to take a short time to socialize the concepts right here in the class. And also, if you know some examples, you also have the freedom to, you know, to talk about it, right? So we can also check. For example, you had a freedom to talk, Nelson, Juan Carlos, Carlos, Frido. So you get um, the chance to speak right here and also give your um, definitions to, you know, from the internet or a dictionary. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes, investigate that, and then we'll socialize here in the class. Let's go then.
Okay, ready? Yes. You could identify the vocabulary. Okay, let's check here. The first one, the baby boomers. So what can you tell me about the baby boomers? Who wants to, you know, uh, break the eyes and talk about the definition or some details that you would like to highlight about this term? Someone that would like to share some details about the baby boomers. I consider teachers the baby boomers is a big part of the population. And the majority part of the person in my job, for example, are baby boomer. Thank you, Emerson. Okay, um, someone else would like to add more details about this generation because there are a lot of things to say about the baby boomers, but you also have the freedom to do it. Yes, someone? Yes, teacher, I, I would like to add uh, the baby boomers important characteristic, uh, characteristic that we found in the internet is a strong work ethic. Baby boomers aren't afraid to put in, uh, in a hard day of work. Self-assurance, this generation is independent and self-assured. Cooperative, baby boomers like competi competitions, uh, goal-centric, resourceful, mentally focused, team orient oriented, and disciplined. Thank you so much. Yes, and you describe important details about the baby boomers. Nowadays, there are baby boomers in great positions in companies because of the level of responsibility, commitment, and also the coordination about the things. Uh, talking about a little bit baby boomers in, in, in the history, is considered a, a, um, a generation in which born between the, the end of the World War II, imagine. So they uh, were born in that specific time or period, we could say it. And also it's considered um, a generation of relative prosperity of the US economy during their, their working careers. So they, they are very important and influential this generation. So it's very important to know about that. Okay, now we we'll, we'll go with Gene X. What do you know about Gene X? What can you tell me? What do you find? Uh, what do you find about this generation? Uh, I volunteer. Uh, in my case, I found that uh, a different to baby boomers, uh, Gen X needs a balance of their family life and the professional life. Um, baby boomers just thinking work and how can I do this activity? How can I... Uh, um, bring gave indication for this activity, et cetera, et cetera. But gener Gen X, Generation X needs a balance uh, for the family and for the professional life. And also the Generation X is a little bit entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial because 
they maybe they don't want a, a boss in in all uh, in all they their life uh, for this reason the gen generation x um are entrepreneur entrepreneurs is is my opinion is my is that's why i found oh, thank you so much kevin i really appreciate it important details about this gene x thank you Okay, so when else that would like to add more details about the gene X? I found t-shirt that gene X is a common descriptor intended to help identity of a, a group of people who grew up in similar economic, technological, and political circumstances. Interesting. It's not on a specific uh, just born date. It goes beyond. They, they represent an important generation of changes. And also there are some important characteristics about that time that make them special. So we know a little bit more than dates. We know about the history, about the background, what's going on, or what happened in the past. Great job for that. What about the gene Y? So what can you tell me about this? What did you find about it? Hey, teacher, uh, I found the yes. gene Y is Generation Y include people born in the 1980 and 1990. Uh, members of the Generation Y prefer to communicate through text or social media rather than email or face-to-face -face contact. Uh, familiar devices and media include cell phones, computer, streaming music. In contrast to these rotary phones and music formats of the past. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I I agree with Carlos teacher with the characteristic about the innovators. I I found that the this generation, gen, generation Y are very very inno innovators and i think that it is demonstrability the most uh, demonstrable uh, to others generation oh you say the demonstrable Demonstrable, okay, yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. And also you were saying something interesting. Uh, the Generation Y or the Millennials as we know, because we have been talking about them for some time, they are digital natives. Imagine, look at the definition about this one. They are digital natives. So that's mean that they have handled everything related to technology. The management of technology, it's very simple for them. And also they have seen the changes since the, the traditional technology onto the more technology, different changes. Great job. And let's see the last word, the bridge the gap. What is bridge the gap? Who wants to um, help me to respond? What is the bridge the gap about these key terms? In my opinion, teacher, is when you are doing some activities to close uh, a distance uh, for two things. In this case, we need to close a difference for the generation Y and baby boomers, maybe, or generation Y and generation X. 
we need to close the difference and we need to do some activities for close uh, this different that difference or those different those difference and for me it is it is the meaning of the bridge the gap Yes, teacher, I agree with Kevin because it's, in my opinion, it's a situation in which older, in this case, because we are talking about the generation with older and younger people not to understand uh, each or other or their uh, or situation or their different experience, opinion, behavior, culture, value, etc. Is is the this is in this is the bridge bridge the gap is is the situation that between that the older and younger people in in this context i think thank you so much yes i just want to also add more details about this uh bridge the gap also in in a colloquial expression or also we could say like a slang it's related to have qualities of two different groups or things and uh, when we talk about the bridge of bridge the gap, that mean also means that when we are like talking about different generations, for example, the baby boomers, the baby boomers can get some characteristics, qualities from the previous uh, generation or the next generation or the previous two generations. So this generation gets some characteristics or qualities from previous generations. And also I can give you an example about our parents. Sometimes, you know, we learn a lot of things from our parents. Obviously that they don't belong to our generations, but, or some of them, yes, or some others obviously no. But for example, these generations can give us a lot of information, give us a lot of qualities, different things that perhaps we can learn from them. So also, this is what we call bridge the gap because we can learn from previous groups of people. Also, it's very important to focus on that. So don't forget about these terms because the goal is that we have the chance to study different expressions and vocabulary to, you know, to speak in a better way. Look at the following part. We're going to ask two and let's see. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez, can you help us to read the instructions? The drill. This one that you can see. Okay, uh, watch the following video and get the most important ideas. Then share the information with the class. Thank you so much, right? So we're going to focus about the five generations in the workplace. So you will see a video and also I want you to, to check the content, right, about this. And I'm going to share with you, try to get uh, the most valuable um, ideas about this video. Okay, I'm sharing you right now, guys, by this mean. One minute, please. One moment. Okay. And please let me know if you can see the, the video. Can you see it? Here in this chat, by the way. Yes, sure. Yes, okay. So what we had to do is we're gonna watch the video. And also, as we always say, we're gonna get the most valuable information that we can learn from this. And then we're gonna take a short time to socialize with your partners what you learned about the video. Let's continue.
Okay, are you ready? No yet, teacher. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Um, I have a question. Well, I was like watching a video and it, perhaps in the last minute and it's reflected that the, 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 the most valuable points about the description of the five last generations. So with your own words, can you explain me what you found or what details attract your attention about the video? So you had a freedom to talk and also say how do you, how you feel or something that was very interesting to you. In, in my opinion, teacher, uh, the video say that it is a big challenge to have difference. In, that case, in this case, five generations in a company. But if we want to take advantage of this situation, this real situation, uh, each generation bring uh, specific qualities that we can use to to llevar, to bring to bring the company to success to success. Thank you so much, uh, Kevin. Great, great. Intervention, and I have a question. Well, to have five generations in a company is an advantage or disadvantage? What do you think? It's advantage, but it's a child. It's a big challenge. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kevin. And someone else also, uh, can you give your opinion about this? Is an advantage to have five generations in the company or not? Or is not? Is a disadvantage? I believe it's an advantage to have a, a, a real uh, generation in the in the the workplace, I believe. Uh, so you can you can give a uh, more suggestion in uh, in evaluation the, the the situation and have a different point to each person. Thank you so much. We have Kevin and Emerson that totally agree about the advantage of having the five 
generations in a company. The last comment, who wants to uh, talk about it? Is an advantage or disadvantage to have the five generations in a company? I think that uh, it's an advantage because um, in a company you need uh, the different skills, you need knowledge, you need experience, but also you need energy, but you need uh, um, knowledge in technologies and the millennials are, are so good in this part, but um, the knowledge and experience in the other generation, for example, the generation X or or the baby boomer, for example, is very necessary in a company. Thank you so much. Yeah, that, that was good, George, talking about. Yeah, I, I just can summarize that. Like, every member in a company contribute to the success of the company. So every everyone in their own experience in their own experiences. So they learn and they produce, they they contribute in order to make a successful team. So that's why it's very valuable. And something that attract my attention about the videos that they were saying that they to for managers it's important to let people that they are good doing something, motivate them to do a great job, no matter what generation is. Everyone needs sometimes to be encouraged to do a great job like you know congratulations for your successful work in this team you have done a great job so when companies know and understand that if you have successful employees satisfied employees and productive employees they will understand that the focus is not the product it's the employee in a company so that's why they need to learn the most valuable points in a company to make sure that that they are doing a great job with the main production or talking about the employees. Okay, also some uh, important values like commitment, responsibility, passion, motivation, a lot of things that are really important to do in a job. So we don't have to forget that valuable details about that, right? Okay, let's go with the next part before I need to check the attendance list. So I will need you to say present when you listen to your name right now. Just to give me a brief moment. Uh, let's see, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Thanks. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank teacher. you. Yes. Teacher, I, I've been awesome because my dad had an accident the last Friday, so I've been at, with him. So that's why I've been just as a listener these days. I'm sorry to hear that. Is he doing great? Is he recovering? Uh, Yeah, so, so. Yeah, so be patient and, you know, I know that sometimes situations like that it are uncontrollable. I totally understand that. We okay, hope that he you. we hope that he recovers as soon as possible. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Um Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Present. Oh, nice. Double voice. <laughs> uh just man Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thanks. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Um, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Uh, Nelson Alberto. Present. Osman Enrique. Osman. Uh, Rafael Alexander. 
Present teacher. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Uh, Cifrida Ernesto Gomez. Present. Wendy Maricela. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Myrna Elizabeth. Present. And Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, so let's continue with the next exercise. You know, we just learned a little bit about these important values that perhaps we can also take into account when I'm talking about the five generations that were replaced. But also there is an article that I want to share with you guys right now. So if you allow me a moment to share with you this one. Read the following article and get the most important ideas to ensure the, the information with the class. The article is called uh, Bridging uh, the Generation Gap in the Workplace. So I will share with you this important um, basic article with the purpose to, to make sure that we understand some valuable details about these generations. Just give me a moment. So we're talking about values in a structural information. When we talk about the, the bridging, the bridging, the generation gap in the workplace. So what's the meaning? That we had to connect all people from different generations, focus on one idea. That's one of the most valuable things. Because in conclusion, what matters is not the, the different generations, it's the combination of all generations to be successful and reach the main goals that about the company success. So we had to perceive that one. For example, let's talk about some of you guys. Imagine um, Emerson as a manager matters that everybody can establish a great connection to have important results in a company, right? For example, Mirna, Mirna as a manager, she will look for the ways in which everybody can be connected and committed in one team, in one goal. Nobody could be in different directions. Everybody from a different generations should be in the same level, the same rhythm, the same path to reach the most important goals for the company. That's why the article bring in the generation gap in the, in the workplace. I'm going to share right now um, the following article. Um, you can see it. I will give you a couple of minutes uh, to read it. And then we're going to talk a little bit about this. Yes. Questions. Can you see the link? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. Let's start now. I will give you, you know, five minutes to check. And then, or we're going to analyze the, the information.
Okay, students, well, uh, we're about to finish. We have a couple of minutes, but also um, it was a very interesting um, article. So we will continue working with that, but I just want to know what do you understand about the article? What are the things that the article is mentioning? Uh, can you help me with that? So what do you get from the article? My opinion, teacher, the the article that catch my attention is when when the article say a simple gap analysis that we have two camps uh, between that uh, generation X baby boomers because they are focused on and on the organization they lead, profit and loss, revenue growth, filling open position, development and generation Y, they are. They are more. They are thinking other. They are thinking in other things. They work life balance, scale of flexibility, believe in the company mission, and accept to the transparency of all information. It's catch my attention because we have two camps. In it's a real situation that we have in our jobs now, because it's two different ideas, values, and uh, uh, it. I, ideal different values and and the different um, different opinion that we have in in our job. This is this is in my opinion that the article try to to say it in the gap workplace that we have. Yes, thank you so much, Mirna. I have a I have a comment about it. And someone else to conclude. Someone else that would like to, you know, give uh, an opinion about the article. Yes, someone? Someone here, uh, Kevin? No teacher, in my case, no opinion. Well, um, we're gonna continue tomorrow because I want you to focus about some specific subtitles in, in, in inside the, the article because it's a little long and we need to analyze some points. Something that attracted my attention was that, that uh, they, they came from different generations. They retire and new generations take the positions and then it goes on, right, for a long time. And we will analyze the advantages about that. So thank you guys for being here in the class. I hope to see you tomorrow. Congratulations for the work done and see you later. Have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Thank, thank, thank you guys. You too. Good night. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank you.